of Ancient Liquid kicking things off on the T side and complexity on that CT side, hoping and praying that on Liquid's choice of map, they can have a solid start to things. The early aggression coming out on the ramp side of the map, and it will see Liquid slowing down a little bit, but they're about to get pressured in. And Junior, the man we were just talking about, has laid them to waste. Three quick kills for the USB. It's only Nitro that bounces back with his P250 by his side. Won't be getting a second. And Complexity, just through raw aggression, have picked up the first round. This double door is just getting festooned with the bodies of Liquid there. And Junior, I mean, I, I had to say it. I had to say he, he has been a liability, but this round, a laser beam with that USP just sniping away all the members of Liquid and just catching them off guard. He was just trying to go for a very fast play towards uh, towards the, the ramp area on the B-bomb side, maybe trying to go for a flank. But we never even had a chance to see what Liquid really up to. Just getting absolutely bodied very early on. Now, Ancient, uh, you know, a map that is, of course, heavily, heavily CD-sided, and that's the one advantage Complexity do have. It being Liquid's map pick means that Complexity will have the choice of side. And of course, they are going to be going for this uh, CD pick. If you look at the uh, the buy for Liquid, well, they're just going to go for the full eco. No, not a single, just a one kill, I do believe it was. And apart from that, no bombs planted. So they're just going to be sticking around with the Glocks. Not a singular investment being made by any of the members on the side of Liquid. There has been a few question marks uh, about Shoxy on this team, right? He has individually been uh, lacking a little bit, so to speak, recently. And also you have the fact that not just individually, but like it, it, for a lot of people to point fingers at, they're like they're looking at shocks and they're like he's not, he kind of is being the bit of the liability for this lineup. But we did have an interview with Nitro where he said, you know, shocks, he, he had a lot to do. He had to travel so much, right? All the way from Europe, all the way back to NA and back again. So it has been a little bit of a rough time for shocks, but he did say, Nitro did say in the interview that shocks seems to have kind of like mentally reset himself. It is feeling much more comfortable. And that is going to be instrumental here. Uh, if you look at the individuals on his team, Everyone's everyone's a legend in their own right. Shoxi, obviously, the amount of uh, you know the, the events, the tournaments, the majors is one with multiple French lineups. You're talking about the veterans in the form of Nitro and Nav. You're talking about Elige, probably the best player from NA right now. And then you have OC, who honestly, the moment he started in the Liquid, the questions were raised: Can he really deliver against top tier opposition? And he's answered all of us. This guy is legit. Oh, he's very legit. And speaking of that AWP clash, we're expecting to see OC with that weapon many a time in this game. As it stands though, as a result of no purchase in the previous round, as Blair touched on with only the one frag with the P250 in the hands of Nitro, they have finally got themselves some AK-47s to run with. Complexity in their bonus round, getting aggressive down with the MP9. The only SMG they possess. They do have a couple of FAMASs thrown in the mix as well. HE could be good for a bit of chunk damage and decent onto Nitro. He'll be in that headshot range now of the M4s and the FAMAS if he's unlucky enough to push in. But things slowing down again as Liquid feel out their options. Interestingly as well, Blair, yesterday when we were casting G2 and Ents, a consistent hotbed of contestation was mid over and over and over again. It's still very early days, of course. I'm curious if Liquid are going to toy with that a little bit later on. Yeah, for me, I've watched Complexity's uh, CD side multiple times, and I do enjoy what JD does, uh, G, uh, JT does uh, for his team. Right, a lot of aggressive mid and you know uh, mid contestation. He likes poking and prodding, making things very uncomfortable for his opposition. Right now, though, they use up all the utility, and it's actually bought them a lot of time. So Liquid, they have to now make sure that none of these look. If you look at the amount of map control they have, it's minimal, right? They have no eyes as to where the remaining CTs could be. But for the CTs, unfortunately, all they have is one Molotov to work in a couple of flashes and here comes the hit from Liquid. They're going to be deploying all the utility as they charge on into this B bomb site. Mm, an island in amongst the Liquid fire of the Molotovs is clumped together. Floppy and JT. Fang, Grim just behind them but they're going to get swarmed. This is where the AK should prevail but Fang says no. Two kills with him and Floppy alongside him. Two play three although Grim is exceptionally low but Shox is making moves round the back. The bomb has been planted. He needed OC to survive a bit longer but he is sneaking around like a coiled viper ready to spring into action and junior and floppy have no idea the only downside for shocks is that the bomb is not planted for his position but he doesn't even have to give his spot away right now now he's hearing they're tickling the bomb first frag down and there is shocks pure experience pure tenure and the results to match ice in his veins vince ice in his veins there was a world there where uh, a less experienced player might have just gone for the shots, right? And then it would have been a 1v1, and then it could have gone either way. But 
great play coming in from uh, Liquid there. They took the sweet time, they went for the execute, and even though Fang finds a double in complexity, had the man advantage, Shoxi, the veterancy shining through, playing that one to perfection. And with that for complexity, though, considering how flawless the couple of rounds they won were, they will still have a very, very solid buy. No AWP yet for Junior, however. Decent bit of utility, but you can see clearly they have three smokes remaining. That's it. So they're looking to get this map control early on and try and find something with it. And look at it doing a pretty damn job just being patient, right? There's no need to force a matter. If you look at the previous round, we saw Complexity use up all their utility early on, and Liquid are able to walk into the bomb site and deploy their own utility to get the bomb down. So, similar fashion, which how these rounds are playing out. The only difference being, they do have Floppy sticking around towards the, uh, just outside of Jaguar. The all is back up in the form of Junior nearby towards Ramp. Elige, though, he finds fo Floppy, and that's a huge pick. No trades possible. And now Liquid, they're going to group up together. There's A bombsite. You can see the rotation as well. Fang is heading, slowly creeping, crawling all the way towards B. And it's all on Junior. M4 in hand against five members heading his direction. Human in Temple will be waiting and anticipating for this push. Flash proceeds the peak. Allows him safe passage, and Grim has gone down. OC lays him to rest alongside Nitro, and that A defense has crumbled under the smallest pressure. Excellent news on the side of Liquid. Junior will keep himself alive, and more importantly, the M4 going through into the next round, or so he hopes, alongside JT, who will be aggressed on momentarily from Elish. So this round is liquids. That much has already been dialed in. It's now just a question of how many weapons complexity can take out of this one because their money is in the dumps. They have nothing going through into that next round. Unfortunately, complexity don't have any sidearms on JT or Junior. So this next round, whatever kind of positive spin you put on it, Blair, is going to kind of suck. <laughs> it's going to suck. Uh, I'm, I'm envisioning them going for just a full eco. Maybe, maybe a CC, a couple of E250s. Even then, I, I'd like to see them just go for, for the complete full eco here. Just try and play around the two rifles in the hands of JT and Junior. You see like $2,000 on average, almost 1900 on average, and on, on the, uh, the three surviving members. So even if they go for a P to 50, it is going to hamper uh, a buy they go to the next round. You want to have that extra little bit of extra utility. Maybe could be a flash, could be an extra Molotov or incendiary being afforded. As we do have attack timeout getting called here by Complexity. I was having a chat with uh, with the coach of Complexity JC uh, yesterday at the hotel lobby, and he was it was like, yeah, you know what, we're, we're feeling pretty comfortable against Liquid, you know, uh, even though they are on paper heavily favored, it, it is a domestic matchup, right? And sure, Liquid have had Complexity's numbers recently in the past, but they do scrim against each other quite often, a lot. And, you know, when you play against each other so often, you, you see this even in EU as well, like, you know, uh, these domestic der derbies between some of the Danish teams and whatnot where the underdog sometimes pulls off the upset. But if Complexity were to do so, what a time, right? This is an elimination matchup, mind you, to stay alive at the Major. And there we go. Pretty much almost a full, e uh, full eco. Floppy will have a 5-7. Grim with the uh, with a P to 50. Apart from that, just the two M4s to work with. They haven't even purchased any extra utility, keeping the money even Steven, so they can go for a... Uh, United by later on. Floppy tucked into the corner Jaguar. A 5-7. He is... Uh, it's actually going to be JT as the bait. And a 5-7, Vince, at this range can be deadly, especially in the hands of the flop. <laughs> in the hands of the flop, indeed. And as he said, he's playing anti-flash alongside. JT, if he can open things up, could get interesting. Molotov, though. Oh, that's going to wreck this tactic. Floppy has to come out. He gets one. That Molotov completely ruined everything that Complexity were banking on. Excellently placed, and the rest of the round should fall into place. Only the one rifle remaining, of course, in the hands of Junior, who has had a good start to this game. Six and two is good to see. Mostly where we start to get a little bit apprehensive about his performances is actually when he has the AWP, because yep. it's such an integral, expensive weapon. There are days where he goes missing. I'm hoping this is one of those days he shows the world what he's truly capable of. Because listen, down in like tier two, when I to cast this guy, he was smurfing. He was outrageously good with the AWP. So I'd love to see that form again. Yeah, the, the, there was always a caveat that, ooh, the bullet's just grazing <laughs> the back of Grim's head, and he actually gets the dink, but unfortunately not quite able to confirm the kill. If I'm Junior, I hold on to his M4A1, which he will indeed. I have to agree with you. I think, you know, you and I have actually casted quite a few of these uh, 
yes. of the matches of these of this lineup of the, all the players you see on this team. And Junior, and, and you can see, you can even say the same for OC as well, right? When it comes to NA, the, the Americas, those two players were, were phenomenal. And sometimes people were even mentioning Junior's name alongside OC. And the, dif the difference being, once OC, you know, went kind of went abroad and started playing some of the bigger names, and then Junior started playing for Fury, you could clearly see that OC was against stronger opposition and better. There was always a caveat for Junior that he was playing for Fury, a whole different crazy brand of Counter-Strike, the language barrier and all of that. But... Ever since the Jones Complexity team, it has been a bit a bit disappointing, to put it mildly. Here we go, no Complexity uh, with the buy of their own. Still no op for Junior. The Molotov is dealing so much of damage on the Shoxy, and Floppy gonna try and find the timing for the wall bank. But Shox, low or not, still somehow finds JT. That is huge find. Smack in the middle of the B bomb side, and that's gonna force out a rotation, Vince. Now you have Fang, who's also down to 13 points of health, grouping up with Junior and leaving Grim all alone. In fact, they're all rotating towards the B bomb side. They're just relinquishing the A bomb side and hoping, praying that Liquid head this direction. It seems like a gamble stack to me, Blair, where they stack B. If they end up getting hit on A, they just save their weapons. Oh yeah. Because of the fact that Fang is low. However, I don't know if it's confirmed damage, but Liquid, they're limping on two players and that's gonna be floppy. Going hard to a ramp, takes two players, does a lot of damage onto OC as well. This round falls in the way of complexity. The gamble stack seems to be working out, but Naf <gasps> keeps himself alive and drops the nade downtown onto the back of Fang's head. Both remaining players are weakened. Naf's position compromised, but still spins around. I thought Junior might get the shank, but instead he's took a bullet to the head. Ah, oh, it must it must feel good to be a napper. That looked almost <laughs> impossible, Vince. A one versus three. He gets the first skill, he's so low in health, and the way he just he just this instant geometry in his head, triangulating the position of the two CTs. Perfect nade. And a junior not expecting Naf to come walking out from the smoke and even getting caught with a knife out in his hand. And this is all after the work being put in by Floppy and Junior. What a nade onto Grim. Oh, that must have just been a jump scare for you. It's so unfortunate. And the money's broken. Uh, at least they have enough to eke out some deagles here. But for Liquid, this is about trying to ensure they don't lose many players here. OC's even gone for the AWP. Not a single player with any, you know, SMGs and whatnot. Probably expecting a forced buy, perhaps, from Complexity here, as they're slowly going to come creeping, crawling in towards the A side. There's no one around. The utility will be deployed, but the three players lying in wait inside a donut. Unfortunately, though, it's Eagles up close. One smoke, one incendiary Molotov, and they have been blockaded out, and that's exactly what's coming up. Doing their due diligence, though, Liquid. Dotting the eyes, crossing the T's. Taking control over Temple. Smoking off all those choke points and complexity, although they had a couple of banana peels laid down and traps that were put into place. A leech bypasses both Floppy and Junior, and Naf showing that that last round was just the start of potentially something special. Liquid will be off to a 5 2, that much is guaranteed, and they don't lose a player in the process. So their bank balance now collectively starting to build to a very nice position. It's looking good right now for Liquid. Five on the trot. Sure, a couple of rounds were a little scary. The uh, the 1v3 from NAF comes to mind. But apart from that, it has been looking pretty damn clean for the Liquid side. Sure, we had a Shoxy clutch as well earlier on, the 1v2. But it rounds against some, some of the pistols. They're not really making any misstep, right? Keeping majority of players alive. Like you pointed out, the money's looking good as well. Molotov smoke's getting deployed and Liquid just with the utility usage and a fast pace being set here by Shoxy. Resting control of mid from Complexity. Although it did feel like a half-hearted attempt from Complexity, they really weren't looking to commit to this mid-duel. So they do expend a little bit of utility and they will fall on back. I'm not sure if Fang swapped the player across, but doesn't matter. JT will find shocks. So at least something going the way of Complexity early on. For Liquid though, a lot of pressure towards mid and slowly they will be falling back towards the B bomb side. But the timing here, you can see Junior and Floppy slowly starting to creep and crawl. Junior's got the AWP in hand. Floppy up close to the boxes and Liquid. Still a minute to work with. And the moment the smoke starts to rain into the B bomb site, what's Floppy going to do? They have the bait and switch. So even if Floppy goes down, Junior should in theory be able to alleviate at least one of these players. But it's about utility. If a flash comes over, similar to what we saw in a previous round in Jaguar with that Molotov, it completely dissects and crushes their 
stats, but they've gone in for their own counter flash. It's worked out beautifully now for Complexity. Three kills in quick succession. Puts Naf into a one on four. He may have clutched earlier, but this was way too tall a task. And finally, Complexity are back on the board. Great decision from Floppy there. The moment he saw the, the he heard the nades being lobbed in, he knew that he could potentially catch a couple of players with the nades in their hands, not having equipped the rifles. So great work. There we go. Just perfect timing. And for Liquid, they weren't aware of that, right? They weren't ready for a player to push on in. I do believe Osi was actually, I think it was, I'm not sure if he was tossing a, uh, a nade or who was holding the angle, but still nonetheless, great round for Complexity. Finally winning a rifle round. And that too, having a lot of players left alive. Grim, rattling off bullets in the smoke. The nade's gonna take a bit, it's gonna deal a, a bit of damage onto its four members. As Liquid once more, leaving shocks this time around all the way towards the double doors, waiting for any play. This is interesting from Liquid. They're gonna be going for, uh, you know, kind of like a double pronged attack on either side. All the NAF not really uh, showing himself. He's going to be very passive here. The bomb, the back of OC, just slowly creeping and crawling their way towards Donut. I do wonder what their final game plan is. A limit on the clock to work with. Oh, Grim's position just gets out into the open, nearly gets picked off. Nitro pressing the button, pushing in. There's a team kill. Elise takes down his IGL, and now Junior goes from strength to strength as he carves a path through the oncoming tees. Fang, able to survive, pushes back into the donut, and not only that, but takes the bomb with him. OC's life is deemed forfeit, and Shox, who's gone unseen so far, has stealth going in his favor, has now been compromised at the cost of Fang's life, has time to now traverse back over on the B side, and considering that both of the CTs are on A, he will get this bomb plant down. And at that point, if he can get it down quickly, obviously he doesn't have that information and the benefit of seeing what we do, then things get very interesting in a post plant for Shocks. He's a cerebral player. He has been in these positions so many times in the past and a plant will be forthcoming. He's already got one clutch today. And where does he decide to relocate to? Back into ramp. He slowly slithers his way in towards construction side. He is sprung and put that poison, that venom into complexity before. Do they have the antidote this time around? Molly into the cave. Now he has to show his hand. Grenade out. Here comes Shox. They're trying to go in the diffuse in the smoke. Not required because JT, the perfect bodyguard. Complexity get four. Maybe there was a little bit of uh, miscoms perhaps for Liquid. Uh, it looked like Shox maybe was trying to get a kill with the nade, but the moment the nade was lobbed in, they knew exactly where he was, and of course the smoke is well obscuring his vision. Nice attempt though from Shox, and for Complexity, I'm not going to really blame them. They, they stuck together instead of separating uh, and playing the bomb sites as individuals where the trade potential would have been non-existent. They instead group up together, stick together, and they win a very crucial round. Honestly, I felt like that round should have been much more <laughs> comfortable for Complexity, but Shox almost pulling off yet another clutch. As we do have attack timeout getting called here by Liquid. Money is still not bad at all. OC a little bit low on cash. But if you do want to drop him an AWP, at least can do so. Instead, I guess it might just be the AWPs. Sorry, the AK-47s. Never mind. The op will be dropped into the hands of OC. Well, Elish taking one for the team. He's got a little in hand. Complexity, though. Signs of life from Junior, man. Those are some very, very good shots coming out. And th that was yeah. some combat offing as well, right inside of that A bomb site. Uh, people have been on his back for a while. There's been rumors, there's been speculation as to what his future in this team is. I think this would be a perfect opportunity for him to stand tall and say, listen, I, I can perform at this level. I deserve to be here. This is his moment. If Complexity get knocked out one and three, I don't know if he stays in this team. I don't know if this, stay, this team stays as five. So this is a huge opportunity to, for Complexity, for Junior in particular, to show the world what they possess, that they deserve to be at Tier 1 Counter-Strike, they deserve to be at Majors, and they can actually stand and fight against some of the best players that the planet has to offer. you got to remember as well, this is one of the youngest teams in this tournament. Spirit might be the youngest, if I'm not mistaken. Complexity are the second youngest as well as JT finds a leash. Junior sticking around for maybe a little bit longer than necessary, as we'll see. Okay, okay, JT. He is toying with fire. And Junior now 
inside of Jaguar. He spots the elbow, Ooh. tags Nitro through the wall. Now 17 HP. But Complexity doing a good job, still keeping all five alive. Great flashback there, but JT, he needs to win that duel. Floppy finds Nitro with shot to the quick trade. Junior with a whiff shot, and suddenly this B bomb side, the defense is starting to crumble, but they won't be expecting Fang, who's gonna find shocks walking in through the smoke, and a 2v2 will ensue. 2-1-2, two two. players are healthy across the board. This post plant though will favor Liquid. There is a bit of utility, smoke up and over. That's gonna be banking off the wall onto the ramp side. That will leave Cave open for business, but OC bypasses the smoke. Spot the first player that misses his shot. Another spray from Naf is off. Complexity with Guardian Angels coming down and protecting them from multiple bullets coming their way are going to get their third in a row. This is now turning into a very interesting game. I've got to say though, I thought Liquid might have that round. Liquid, yeah, they really should have had that round. What they weren't expecting was Fang tucked in inside a short, right? They found three kills on a B-bomb site. That is just unreasonable from JT. I love the flashbang, I love the trading coming out. And they weren't expecting the second player, sorry, the fourth player being tucked in, which was Fang. And not a big fan of Shocks walking in through the smoke there, but I guess I, I can understand, right? He wasn't expecting another player to be so close by. And once he fell down, a couple of whiff shots from, uh, from OC, someone you ex be expecting to hit those shots. He went into the bomb site trying to avoid the smoke. And here comes a faster play from Liquid. They just have the pistols to work with here as Shocks will take down his own teammate and it's gonna be an easy, easy mop up for JT and Floppy. Six to five is complexity. They get the lead. All right. Bruh, we've had two team kills already on the side of Liquid. You can probably forgive that one as they were all clumped up on ramp just rushing yeah. together and you can't take any chances. Ironically, I think it was a liege that team killed Nitro earlier and now he's the player that's getting team killed off shocks. So Karma perhaps falling into the server. Complexity though, in amongst all of that frenzy, have taken the lead. 6-5. They maneuver into. And Liquid getting aggressive on two fronts simultaneously. So many grenades and Molotovs littering the map as it stands, but a bit of aggression. Haven't seen this yet from Complexity. Grim's gone into A main, all by his lonesome. Very forward positions here based off spawns. And this is going to do the world of good. This bait and switch yields one frag. They don't need to overstay the welcome, but OC gets dinked on the cross, down to 10 HP. There's the smoke they survive. Exquisite play from complexity. Yeah, uh, after the amount of, you know, aggress aggression they've showcased on towards the B bomb site, good read from complexity that, hey, you know what? Liquid might start to poke and prod towards the A bomb site, having the double man set up over there. And as you pointed out, Vince, the dink is well onto OC. Gonna make life pretty uncomfortable here for Liquid. For Liquid, the five rounds are still very, very solid here on the T side of Ancient, right? But they would be looking for more. They would 100% be looking to end this half at least maybe seven rounds, perhaps. But right now, things are looking a bit dicey for Nitro and his merry men. All gonna be grouping up again here together. We have the Leech looking for any aggression towards mid from the CTs, and JT being, again, proactive. Flashbang in hands of Junior, gonna pop. That's gonna be JT looking to take the fight, trying to go for the wall, but he's running out of bullets. But somehow, he finds three! How does he find three kills? And the Leech left alone now in a one versus five. He will find Junior, but JT gets away with bloody murder. What the hell was that, Vince? That was an ace as well. The good old lineup, and he will happily capitalize on that complexity, as you can see at the top of your screen, and now on fire, meaning they've won five rounds in a row from 2-5 to 7-5 in the lead. And keep in mind how grim this situation was looking at one stage. They won the pistol, they converted, and then Liquid went on this five-round tear. Complexity now turning the tides in their favor, and the buy on Liquid is pretty awful. Scout, pistols golden opportunity for complexity to get themselves a string of more rounds, get that 10-5 half, and things look a whole lot better for them. I, I love that from JT, right? Not just was he calling that round, but he got the first kill in A-Halls, and then rotates all the way back towards ramps, just trying to be a little bit proactive, and just finishes, <laughs> finishes things off with the ace. Great stuff from the IGL of complexity. And it's starting to wake up here. This time around is going to be the execute coming in towards the A bomb site. Two players lying wait. Junior, AWP in hand, and he's got Grim as well. 
Oh, Elise is just completely manhandled it with the scout, and now the T's spill out onto the side. Makes Grim's situation so much more dire. And then Leech picks up the second. The second they lose the first player, everything comes apart, the seams. The Fang is trying to put it together. Stitch back up the weakened complexity CT side. JT and Floppy, last man standing. But it's going to be Floppy that connects first. Bomb spilled out, have to come pick this one up. The Leech is still alive. He started the round off, and he's still very much in this. OC with the AWP, his weapon of choice, makes it work. Flash out, tries to go into the peak alongside a Leech, and a Leech gets his 3K with the Scout. Liquid steal this round away from Complexity. That's what a Leech could do. That is what a Leech can do, no matter what weaponry he's got. And I, I, you actually, you preamble the fact that the buy was rough, Vince. You said the buy was rough for Liquid. It was a half buy. A few pierce, a few pistols. The scout was the only rifle in their hands, and Elise just plucks the head of Junior. He didn't even get a chance to rattle off a single shot. And then the op gets picked up by OC, finds a crucial second kill as well. And then things just start to crumble there for complexity. Fortunately for them, despite a few of the rounds being kind of close, they still have quite a bit of money to work with. So you have the double op setup coming out now. Junior with the op. We know where it's going to be posted towards Grim as well. We have seen, during the early days of Ancient, we've seen teams try to go for the double op setup, which sometimes can work, but if you're going to get the bomb, you know, if you have to go for the retakes, it gets very, very grim indeed. So I do wonder how this one's going to play out still. Just a couple more rounds remaining in this half. You can see smiles abound for the side of Liquid. Round number 14, penultimate round here of this first half. The map pick of Liquid, complexity lead by a sliver. As Liquid should be smiling, they know they just embarked in daylight robbery stealing that round. As you said though, completely correctly, double orbs can work. But if OC has the drop on Junior as he slowly walks his way through mid, that will make this proposal so much more tentative for complexity. Spread out that little bit more thin, they're being more proactive, We're already sending off Floppy, who was playing on construction all the way round, back round to A side. That will leave them vulnerable and shaking elsewhere on the map. Mid control now coming in. I was curious how much we were going to see this as the latter rounds came to fruition. And now Liquid are changing up the pace, but there is the second AWP. Grim nails Nitro. The timing. Brings out a, oh, brings out a Molotov the worst time possible and shocks. He reads perfectly, waits for Grim to peek, and he will find his head. So bringing it down to equilibrium here, all Liquid, three versus three. The smokes will be deployed. But it's not great. Fang trying to find one he should. In fact, it's going to be JT to find Shocks. Flash is going to blind Fang, but there's nothing he can do. Down to OC, 1v3. JT making a sound. And OC finds Floppy. He knows where the second player is. He knows where the third is as well. And OC, he's going for the clutch here. He's going for it behind the box. 20 seconds to play with, though, and the bomb in an awkward spot. He knows he has to get this next kill, and it has to be quickly. Has no time to mess about. Now gonna be getting in close, down to 14 HP. Surely this round is now too far gone, and no idea as to where that second pesky CT player resides. Oh, the shot is criminal onto JT. But Fang knows he just has to wait. This round is over. There's not enough time, and to add insult to injury, OC dies afterwards. So complexity get their eighth. Nice try from OC though, like he nearly pulled that out. You could see a way in which it was gonna happen. JT played it so well. He knew he made a footstep and he knew that OC knew where his position was, right? And he immediately pivoted towards the bomb side behind the boxes. And OC was so hyper-focused. He was like, there has to be JT still inside of Donut, but that was not the case. Some of these rounds coming down to the wire. The complexity, great resurgence is once more. They're gonna try and battle for mid. It's going to be Fang and JT together. And JT right now top fragging in the server, Vince. He is leading by example. Yeah, he's, he's had a phenomenal game. That 3K comes to mind on the double doors. Pretty much shuts that down and by himself. Flashes over Junior, barely affected by that though. And although the FAMAS does a lot of damage, it doesn't claim any kills. Floppy can go for the wall bang. Doesn't connect really anything. It's so behind the plant the still comes down. Yeah, behind the pillar. He was using it as sanctuary. And now Nitro. Getting aggressive.
they know that their back is vulnerable, or at Look least Lee should realize this, because Fang is coming in, he's sneaking his way around the side, and pivots into a leash, and now they realize they're getting encircled from so many different directions, they can't fully focus shocks, and here's Galil the facing, grenade is good, but Shox comes in for three, and now Fang tries so hard, so desperately, but with 15 HP on Nitro, and six on OC, they secure their seventh round. The final round of that half, and Liquid just bring out the contact B play. I love that. They planned the bomb behind the pillar as well because they had didn't have control of Jaguar. They're like, there must be a CD there. They attempt to go for the wall bank, unable to find a planter. It got very, very close. That nade could have actually found both the players towards long, but fortune will favor Liquid. And if I'm Liquid, even though, sure, Complexity have the lead, you got to remember, this is ancient. And we know how CD sides can be such a it's almost insurmountable at times. And Liquid have shown that the CD side is not to be trifled with. With Complexity, though, they've done everything possible despite having that rough start initially. They won the pistol, they won the follow-up, and then we had Liquid go on, a, go on a bit of a streak. Now, though, let's see what the T-side had in store for us here. A couple of smokes and a couple of mollies in the hands of JT and Floppy. And it looks like it's going to be just a plain A hit. Right now, just one member off Liquid holding the line. It is going to be Nitro, the captain, the IGL. He's got no backup anywhere close by. The closest Legion is all the way towards Red Room. He is a lone survivor, Nitro. The question really falls down to how many kills, if any, can he pick up on the cross? There's one, still alive, still healthy. And him just staying alive at this point is putting more pressure on the rest of T's to get up in there. But Grim, instantly decapitating a Liege, takes control over Temple. While Naf and OC are waiting the other side. Temple becomes Grimm's final resting place, and now Floppy, one on three, they push into him with a Glock. It's Taylor made for these angles, but shocks from the side will deny any heroics. Liquid tires back up. A temple of doom there for complexity. They were all grouped up together. They had the Glocks, especially at that range. They even went for the double peak towards CD spawn, not expecting the rotation to be so very quick. All the CTs, all the Liquid members coming in from spawn and just running on in. Great shots coming out there. And for Nitro, even though he falls, he does get that one kill. And then, of course, the, uh, the other members more than capable of finishing that one off. Complexity... I, I, they would have felt very comfortable there, honestly, Vince. They get the bomb down, they have the man advantage, they're all grouped up to its temple where the Glocks should, at least on paper, come out on top. But Liquid, the individual's too good. Fast and furious retake. The complexity, though, they got the bomb down. Got a couple of kills there, three kills, in fact. So they will be able to eke out a very, very comfortable buy. Scout in the hands of Junior. A couple of Galils, a Deagle for JT and AK-47 for, for, for Floppy as Fang is going to lead the way. Galil in hand. Looking to plunder the site one more time, our complexity. They have the superior firepower, all things considered, but OC doesn't seem to care. He hasn't read the script. He's making his own moves, his own waves, decided to crash against complexity. It won't deny the bomb plant, though. That incendiary will do significant damage if JT doesn't reposition, which he has from behind the pillar, out into the open from the frying pan into the fire, but he shows himself quite the formidable adversary as he frags left and right. Naf, his last player standing, goes in for the spray, tags Floppy down to 20, but Complexity's full force has proved to be successful. What a round from Floppy. Just spinning around like a death top, getting kills in every direction. 4K for him there. And that round, Liquid, they could not stop the flop. Huge kills coming out in every single direction. And for Liquid, yeah, that's a that's a bit of a... That's going to leave a bit of a dirty taste in your mouth, right? You, 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 you win the pistol round pretty convincingly, and then complexity, they snatch it back. Basically mirroring how the way the, the, the first couple of rounds played out there uh, in the first half. It's here we go. Force by will still be coming in for the side of Liquid. It's going to be pistols all around. We have a scout in the hands of a liege and Shoxy with the MP9. Three players towards B. We have a liege with the scout, and we've seen what he can do with that towards mid. But complexity, they're keeping this one simple, Vince. All five members grouped up and waiting outside the B bomb side. They got a Molotov, two Molotovs, three Molotovs, in fact, a multitude of smokes and a number of flashbangs. And you see the MAC-10 in the hands of JT. He is going to be leading the way here. That's one of my concerns is, can he continue to frag this hard? And we'll have to find out. He goes in first, basically the sacrificial lamb, but he's still alive. 
No sacrifices today for complexity. They'll be hitting double digits. Or they will be putting down all of Liquid where they stand. Shot from a leech, as we saw in the first round with the scout. He is very much a threat with this gun. But he has to piece out of that. And you're talking before about how the CT side can be a bastion where you can just pick up so many rounds, a real fortress for teams like Liquid. This is the perfect way to break that fortress down, to knock down a couple of those walls, to make it a little bit more penetrable. Just shutting down the economy, keeping Liquid in this strange, tipsy-turvy position with their finances. Like this next round, they're not really going to have much to buy. Yeah, sure, they can take a scout and a 5-7 potentially into it. Complexity already at 10 rounds. That next rifle round for Liquid now is going to be so, so important in this game. Oh, absolutely. And, and for Complexity right now, golden opportunity to get around number 11, right? It's going to be just a couple of saves, the, the scout and a save, uh, I think it was a Deagle there to work with here for Liquid. You got to go back to the earlier game we had uh, between Spirit and Astralis and Spirit just completely demolished Astralis on Ancient. And I think a lot of us would agree that Astralis are right now the best team on that map. So, yeah, Liquid coming into this game. They, they have a, a winning record on this, uh, on this map against Complexity. It's a map that they're very, very comfortable on. But sometimes Ancient can be a cruel mistress. We have the 5-7. That's about it uh, from the previous round. And the Scout, I like this. Triple boost. You bring it out once, uh, once or a couple of times every half. Let's be honest, Blair, this is the perfect time to utilize it. You have a scout, you have a 5-7. You're basically in a round that on paper you should be losing. I don't think there's a better chance to pull this one out. However, <laughs> Floppy, it just goes to show like how on point they are and how much they understand and read the situation. He's looking for it. He knows. He just knows that's going to be the play. Oh, you hate to see it if you're a liege. <laughs> All right, Nitro, able to at least pick up an AK. And if you're Nitro, you are running for the hills, as Maiden sang once upon a time. OC, blinded, will be found by JT. I, I like how, even though they're moving as a pack, it's a well-drilled pack by complexity, right? Like, the, the flashes are on point, the trading is on point, and JT, you asked Vince, well, like, is he going to continue this? Just bragging out. And sure, right now it's against just the pistols and whatnot, but he has shown that he's more than capable of holding his own against the, the superstars on the side of Liquid. Looking for more here, Nitro will be found. Our JT is a drive-by death machine. He has encircled the entire map. The AK won't be saved. And Naf is going to be left alone here with a 5-7. But uh, yeah, the buy is going to be coming in here for Liquid. Still, it's not going to be that great, especially because OC, the best sniper in North America right now, will not have his weapon of choice. And Complexity are now 11 to 8. Five rounds away from taking the lead here in this must-win series for both the teams. You see the impact as well that not being able to save the AK has. Nitro has to replenish his M4, meaning he only has his smoke, which he's already tossed out. There's no kits. There's no incendiaries, there's no HEs. So they've got firepower, but they have got to make it work because there's very little plan B now on the side of Liquid. And that's why they're getting aggressive. That's why we're seeing a Liege trade one for one. Shock's getting aggressive out, out on construction as well. But in doing all of this, they've pretty much bypassed any A defense. The only defense they have is in Donut. And that's Nitro that's just joining the site now. And he's instantly eradicated by Fang. Now they need OC to go above and beyond. There's a slight gap in the smoke, but he can't fully exploit this. And he knows he has to stay alive for the rest of his teammates to get up close. Naf now joins the fray. Bit of damage done, but more flirtation than anything else. But now he does seal the deal alongside OC, who goes in for two. Sprays down in the line. They know where Floppy is, but he's had so much impact. So many massive rounds in this game. Already one frag picked up to his name. Can he get two more? No, Shock shuts him down. And Liquid make their fairly lackluster buy with such little utility work. It is at the cost of three players, but they're going to get some AKs out of this round as well. OC was so instrumental there. Even though he didn't have his weapon of choice, huge kill onto towards Junior. He was in a very uncomfortable spot in all honesty. You know, he had the scout on the bomb side behind the box. It's not much room to maneuver. But a second kill he finds on the player deep inside the donut, that was instrumental. If he doesn't find that kill, them trying to stick that bomb is going to be nigh impossible. So huge round coming out from OC. And finally, maybe just stemming the bleeding for a while, as we do have a little bit of update from Stream A. Outsiders, after losing on Dust2, the map pick, have picked up Forza's map pick, and now that series is tied one-all. One Ooh. 
a 2-1 matchup, of course. The winner goes to the legend stage. The loser will be 2-2. Two and two. The same position the winner of this best of three will find themselves in as well. Of course, this, if you have just joined us, is an elimination match between the two NA hopes in the major. In the challenger stage, it has been pretty rocky road for both of them. However, complexity with the narrowest margin of leads. Junior taking the initiative. At one point, he was 10 and 3, so he certainly slowed down a little bit in this game. That flash is perfect. No double frag, though, as they're able to find a sanctuary of that archway. Naf goes in. Hefty damage onto Grimm and picks up the first. And so Liquid not only have the player advantage here, but HP bars running pretty low in complexity as well. This excursion, though, from Elige. They're going to know where the hit's going to be, and so they have no idea. Complexity probably thinking that Ruse might have worked out. They can rotate all the way back towards A, but Elish not finding anyone. They're still going to mill around towards that B bomb site, but finally, there we go. Slowly, they know the timing. Nitro is going to shift its tension towards A bomb site, and OC once more has arrived. As Elish finds Fang in the meantime, it's a 2v4. Grim bleeding, hemorrhaging as he's walking in towards a bomb site. Has to apply the pressure, and maybe Nitro is the man. To snuff him out. Oh, not Nitro missing a sitter. And Floppy spins into two headshots. Had no right to pull that off. And with about 11 seconds left, the bomb has been securely planted. Floppy goes in again as Elise peeks out by himself. Liquid are jumping into the fire like lemmings. And maybe, just maybe, Shox can wind back the ears and pull off another clutch. And if he doesn't, his team's in real trouble. Shox sprays down and digs them out of that ditch. But Liquid seems so content to peek one by one into Floppy, a man that's been possessed. Oh boy, NT Floppy, NT. 21 kills for him. Joining his captain in delivering. That round had no business coming down to a 1v2 favoring complexity. There's a 2v4, Liquid had the perfect read as to what was going to be transpiring, and Floppy is just a, a death machine, just a death ball, taking, getting kills at will. And again, Shocks having to come up clutch, another 1v2 for him. But it really shouldn't have come to that. That was so, so very close. But for complexity, c considering that round should have been done and dusted before they even got the bomb down, the amount of damage that he dealt, they, they, they dealt rather in the, in the direction of Liquid. Look at the money right now, Vince. Yeah. Even though, though they've won a couple of rounds back to back here, have Liquid. Four members are sub one thousand dollars, and Naf's the only one, and he's a thousand fifty. Barely any money left. You can see OC has got the op, smoke and incendiary. So they at least have the weaponry and the, the the arsenal here to battle out for this particular round. And you can see if you look at the economy. The economic situation complexity as well, it's not that healthy either. Floppy, the only one that some cash to speak of. So this round is going to be very, very crucial. It's kind of a pivotal round for both the sides. If complexity can somehow, somehow seal this round away from Liquid, they could easily go on a couple of round streaks. Oh, this could break Liquid completely in this entire map if they can get a little bit of consistency. But it's OC now that takes over Donut from Nitro who's had two pretty lackluster rounds in a row, to be completely honest. He's had very little impact. He's a man that is very self-aware. He'll realize this. Maybe that's why OC is positioning now with the AWP. And so far, so good. He's missed his shot, and there's no punish. There it is. Finally comes in from Temple, making sure that OC's life is not in vain. Shot lands onto Junior. 16 HP remains for him. And as they look to try and switch over and pivot towards the B side of the map where Shox is waiting, he's had a good game so far. Multiple clutches, loads of impact. And if he peeks out, he may find Floppy. Floppy's past him, but he knows. He's heard JT. He knows the plant's coming down. There's one spray, there's two. Bomb gets denied. And Junior in no position to fight this. And in all honesty, with 45 seconds left, he may be thinking about saving, but may not be afforded that luxury because here comes Nap. Only one bullet required. 11 to 11, we're all tied up. And as you touched on before, Blair, the economy from complexity is hardly good itself. So they may be in trouble now. Oh, absolutely. And right now, this is when we're going to be seeing the half coming out here. 
huge, huge round coming out from Shox on that B-bomb side, right? And just floppy, he, he did everything perfectly. He was a lurk, he was walking impatiently into B while the remainder of his teammates were making so much of a commotion towards A, and the, he just forgets to check the cubby. And that's when Shox strikes it. Even his target selection was perfect. He knew the bomb was being planted. He doesn't go for the guy planting the bomb. He goes for Floppy first, and then executes the guy who is putting the num punching in the numbers on the C4, because there was nothing he could do at that point, and Shox is just pretty much shutting down the round, pretty much by his lonesome. His top fragging as well right now in the server is Shox, so if people had question marks about him being a liability, at least on this map, he is showing why he is such an important element in his team. The veterancy, it shines through. He doesn't have to be as lead as many other players. I take the name though, he gets taken down by Nap immediate trade. Now, that was the only AK-47 being purchased there by Complexity. The rest of them, just the Deagles. This should be pretty easy pickings here for the remaining members of Liquids. Nitra slowly peeling back towards Donut. Bit of an off angle. Getting one. They line up, he'll spray them down. Very fortunate to get all three of them. They did run into his bullets and tank them to the forehead. Would not recommend that at home. And now JT, who was weakened, has been finished off. Liquid take the lead. I think you see there, though, Floppy's thought process is he's so opportunistic. There was a molly went down, then got extinguished by smoke, and it left a, a gap in the, the smoke long enough mm -hmm. that he could see the left side of the back side of the site. And so he was up close once that smoke cleared. He completely caught Shox unaware. Shox had no idea. He didn't think he could be in that position. A little cool opportunistic moment from Floppy. Won't yield them the round, obviously, but now they have full AK-47s. Floppy is just, he's just look incredible in this team, right? So people might argue, might say that Grim might have the better mechanics as opposed to Floppy, but Floppy for me is the best player in this team. And he's showing why. OC in the meantime, however, is going to find JT. A lot of aggression towards mid here from the CTs. The Nitro chiming in with a frag of his own. And OC is trapped inside of the smoke, but he's got bodyguards around as Grim is getting peppered from all directions. A flash will pop as well. OC inside of the smoke, tossing in a flash, enabling Elige to get an easy kill as well. And this is just falling apart for complexity. And for Liquid, sure, the couple of rounds they won back to back. We're a little close, but right now they are starting to come alive. Junior left now. One versus four. And Nitro and OC are kind of low, but this is going to require a gargantuan effort from Junior. Especially as two players are on the side. So even if he gets one, which he doesn't, there was a backup play there. There were pincer movements coming in across the map. 13-11, now the score. And Complexity in an awkward position where they could feasibly try and squeak out a buy. They're in a very strange spot. I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if they called a tactical timeout to figure out what to do next. They could go in for a half of like Tech 9 Deagle half buy. They could even squeak out a few Galils here and maybe a couple of AK-47s. They're in a very dicey, strange, uncomfortable position here mm -hmm. where they know that if they take their foot off the gas, then Liquid could start to cruise towards the finish line. Oh, absolutely. And considering what a pretty solid start they had here in the second half, it's going to be crushing for JT and his merry men if Liquid just run away with this. But Liquid right now are on fire. As you can clearly see the top of your, top of your screens. And the past few rounds, the, the past couple of rounds they've won have been very convincing. And that is what is worrying. You look at the money, you remember it was all, they were, virtually everyone was broke right now, though. You have an average of about $5,000 uh, for an NAF, a Legion, OC. Nitro a little bit low on funds, Shocks kind of broke, but that's okay. They have the weaponry, they have the utility, they have the funds. And for complexity, it's going to be pistols once more. Upgraded pistols, however, we got Deagles, a lot of utility as well. They're running it through the flames and burning alive. Barbecue right outside of Jaguar. Shock's looking for more and he's gonna find more indeed. Junior floppy remain floppy, at least able to stop Nafly. But Shocks is looking for more. Potentially even looking for the ace, but she won't find his floppy. Another kill, but OC and Elijah there to make sure that he doesn't get up to any further shenanigans. 14 to 11 for Liquid to remain for them to take us to map number two. What a beautiful read as well from Nitro. Whoever made that call. Not only did they have them dead to rights with the, the idea it would be a half buy, but look at this utility. That's two Molotovs it's on top of molly. each other with HEs on top of it. I think the two mollies did like three or four hundred damage just by the two of them. It burned one player out, another couple were on 10 HP. Like it doesn't get any sweeter than that for Liquid. Absolutely. For a great read there. You know, they knew it was going to be pro probably a light buy and they immediately went for the, went for the utility being dunked in. 
Because obviously, you know, when you have the life by many times, teams just go for that faster B play, right? Or just try and swarm towards Jaguar. But Liquid seem to have complexities number. OC is being very brave. The scope is going to be hurt. Perhaps not. Oh, and the miss shot though, but Napa is there to save the day. Does the bomb take it down as well as Fang? However, will find a leash at the entrance of A. The bomb has been spotted, and that means it's a, it's a, it's a time for Nitro to deliver here. Are they going to check the angle? It's the question they won't, and Nitro is going to find Grim. Fang knows where he is, but may not realize there's a second player there in the form of Naf. Nitro loses his head. Fang does know. But more importantly than knowing, he makes something of it. He takes his chance and runs. 5 HP left, but he has JT alongside. Such an important moment in this game. Perhaps the best of three. Perhaps complexity's very survival hinges on them being able to clutch this round out and make it theirs. Make Liquid sweat a little bit more. OC on 13 HP. There's plenty of funds on him and Nitro, plus a leech, but it shocks on 1700, where he may think twice about going in for this. However, if he backs off and watches mid, he may get a pick. It seems like Liquid are at least toying with the idea of backing out, but because time is so scarce, they will have to fully commit to this A site. OC is going for it. Full faith in himself, his own abilities, and Fan comes in with a 4K and keeps complexity alive. That was incredible from Fang. Finding both the kills there, although I felt like the spacing was a little bit, bit off there from the side of Liquid. That round should really have been Liquid's, but Heroics coming out from the individuals of this complexity side. We've seen Floppy have his moments, now Fang chiming in as well. And the AWP as well picked up, dropped into the hands of Junior. For Liquid, we spoke about the cash in previous rounds, so they still have funds to work with. However, for Complexity, if they're able to weather the storm of round number 27, and they can break the money bins, they can tie things up. This, this is still not over, as Nat, however, finds Floppy through the smoke all the way near T-spawn. And now Liquid going in for that for the constrictor move, not allowing much space here for Complexity to work with. And Complexity, they, they're fine just biding the time for the time being. But they have lost Floppy. And because they're taking so much time, Liquid are just flowing into these positions. They're getting out first. They've got construction locked down. This gives them control over the doorway. It gives them control over mid as well. This is so well played from Liquid, but all it takes is for one well-timed, well-placed flashbang, and they can still explode out here complexity and get some success. It looks like they're gonna be on the very brink of doing so. They have counter-flash, anti-flash positions from Shox, who's hiding in the angle. OC can take the shot, then fall back. And if they feel compelled to do so, there's a second player there. Shox comes in, though, and proving he doesn't need any backup. Spraying down two, and Junior's position is compromised. They know exactly where he is. The only thing working in his favor is he has the bomb, but he's lost so much health through that smoke. 42 remains. He's being pincered from the B site on a leash. Three players coming from mid. And it feels like he's living on borrowed time. And they're about to collect in full. Surprised that shot didn't land, but it doesn't make any difference. Naf shuts him down. Liquid have three map points. Sharks is taking no prisoners, Vince. He is taking no prisoners whatsoever. It looked like things might could have potentially spiraled out of control because he was walking down towards double doors the moment the complexity started to walk out of it. But JT, unfortunately, caught looking the wrong way. What a, what a round from Sharks again. And this is Liquid just kind of putting the stamp, the seal of authority on the CD side. If somehow they had kind of fumbled that and, and Complexity won the round, this could be 14-14, but they survived to keep four players alive. And with that, now Complexity. This could be it, potential final round. Map point for Liquid on their map pick. Followed, of course, by Vertigo, the pick of Complexities, and uh, Overpass if we do indeed go that way. And I said it earlier as well, if I'm Liquid, I'm looking closest on closest one out 2-0. I think quite a few people expected that to be the case. This performance has had some pretty cool moments. And I would say, considering the situation currently, this is a vintage Shock's performance. We've seen clutches, we've seen huge moments, big sprays. He's been so present, so prevalent in this map. And our complexity on a rough buy have lost two players to OC's hands as he executes Grim and Floppy. 
And Complexity now circling the drain on Ancient. Mac 10 for JT. He has been such a powerhouse, such a huge player, but he's about to get swung in, and that's the bomb that goes down with him as well. And meanwhile, in mid, a makes short work of Junior, and although Fang posts up a last stand of one frag, even if he gets a second, which he won't, it won't matter a great deal. Liquid get it done on Ancient. They are one map away from eliminating complexity.